Welcome to the Three Relaxing Show. Welcome, welcome. The topic today is how to properly apply wax. I'm pinning it. Hey, 719, welcome to the Three Relaxing Show. Hey, Puerto Rico. Rika and Princess, welcome back to the Waxing Show. Hey, Alicia, Alicia, I think it's Alicia. Welcome to the Waxing Show. Hey, Demica B, welcome back to the Waxing Show. Welcome, welcome. Uh, hey, Brandy, welcome to the Three Waxing Show. How are you guys? <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get right into announcements. Uh, Acne and Ingram pads, they are out of stock, but they'll be in stock soon. So uh, click the link in the bio, the fourth button, that's to get on the wait list. For the pads, I've gotten a lot of DMs of those wanting them. So Larry said, well, how is your quarantine treating you? Thanks for asking. Uh, uh, Sass. Hey, Sassy Frey. Welcome to the Waxing Show. I'm glad you're doing well. And it is treating me well. Um, I was going, to be honest, I was going a little stir crazy. Because uh, even though I'm doing work behind the scenes, I'm, I do miss my clients and just being out and about. But the good thing about it, I know it's a long answer, but um, I'm learning a lot of stuff about myself and learning how to do things at home. Um, I'm learning how to part my hair correctly. That's what I worked on yesterday. <laughs> uh, hey, I am Iana. Welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. So, the first announcement was the wait list. Click the link in the bio, fourth button to know when the pads are in stock. They will be in stock, I'm hoping, very soon. Uh, they're, they, the manufacturer did say that there is a little bit of delay because of uh, Corona, but um, we're just praying that it's not too much of a delay. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, let's see. The second announcement is um, if you book a skin improvement call or a wax with me call at full price this month, you will get free shipping on uh, any of your products that you purchase from 3bwaxing.com. Because not only do I uh, sell the pads, I sell uh, skin skirt, skirt products and PCA products. So I drop ship those. Like I have some orders I need to call in. Uh, it's on my to-do list. But um, yeah, so that's what I do as well. So those are the two announcements I have for you. Uh, nothing that important. Make sure you're on the wax lounge because I'm thinking about doing like a pop-in thing this weekend or next week. For just the people on the wax lounge list, but I'm still deciding. Hey Brie, welcome to the Three Waxing Show. All right, so let's get into how to apply wax correctly. For those of you who are new or just joined, welcome to the Three Waxing Show. Welcome to the Three Waxing Show, and so you remember, welcome to the Three Waxing Show. I am Becca, your pro waxer, skin therapist, and licensed esthetician since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, and ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical peels, facials, and products. I have my own product line, which is my exfoliating pads that I was talking about earlier that help with acne, ingrowns. Uh, they are chemical exfoliants, so they are great for sensitive skin and for dark spots. Um, they have been sold all over the US, the UK, Canada, and the UAE. And they are still selling all over the uh, world, even during this pandemic. Uh, like I said, you have to get on the wait list to get them because they are out of stock. The, the other thing about me is I do help estheticians start their own product line, start their salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing techniques. Because I've been the regional trainer for a large waxing franchise, which you probably heard of. And the lead esthetician of a, of a large... Um, high-end gym in Newport Beach, California. To stay connected with me, uh, I go live on Fridays about waxing, like today's topic, and you can join the Wax Lounge. Do you know when I go live? I email them right before, like I did today. On Tuesdays, I talk about products and ingredients, and so uh, you can join the lab to know when I go live for there. And then Wednesdays, I talk about um, esthetician education, so things to help est estheticians with their business and salon. 
um, in their career. And you can join Salon T for that. Uh, and then if you want like one-on-one, -on -one, I do one-on-ones, like skin consultations. Uh, and then with estheticians, I do pick my brain calls. So those are what I do. And then you can always come into the salon once it's open and uh, get your service. All right, so let's get into it. Um, I've had quite a few emails about waxing and I want to be clear before I start this is that I use hard wax. So if you are looking to book a, a call with me or if you are in the process of learning to wax yourself and you are looking at my content, I promote hard wax. Uh, the videos about why I love hard wax, I have plenty of them on YouTube at B-E-K-A space H-U-S-S-O-N-G, Becca Hassan. Um, because, but a few of the reasons is because it is gentle on the skin. Uh, it saran wraps the hair, protects the skin, uh, cleans up very well. You can go over it multiple times. There's a lot of benefits to hard wax. So um, I just wanted to say that before we get into it. Hey, she is Foxy. Welcome back to the Dubu Waxing Show. Hey, uh, Sultry Mocha. Welcome to the Dubu Waxing Show. Hey, um, Five or um five dog welcome to the waxing show all right so i do want to say that about hard wax so when you are waxing this is going to go for anything you're waxing on your body the only thing that i would say is the exception is your underarms but as far as applying hard wax this is how you want to apply hard wax all over your body so this includes your face your brows uh underarms well, underarms obviously can be the exception, uh, but your stomach, your Brazilian, everything. Hey, uh, the lumin Luminary, I think that is. I'm kind of reading sideways. Hey, I love Nick. Welcome to the TV Waxing Show. Hey, Gonzalez, welcome to the TV Waxing Show. Okay, so first I'm going to give you two, two things that you must know about waxing when you're applying it. Two terms. Um... I hate that I can never spell, or I never looked these up before. I don't know. I'm a degree in accounting, not in spelling, so you're clean up. You know what? I'm just gonna say your first strip. Okay, so there's two things you need to know before we go into applying wax. You have your Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show, uh, Cone Shell, Cone Shell. Welcome. Hopefully I said that right. So you have your first strip, and then you have your cleanup strips. So you're going to have multiple cleanup. I'm going to put multiple. And then for those of you who are new, I write on the whiteboard. I know it's backwards for you, but um, just screenshot it, and then you'll be able to see it uh, in your editing tool. Multiple. Okay, so when you are doing cleanup strips, when you're doing your first strips, you're going to do them a certain way, and then your cleanup strips can go any type of way, and you're going to have multiple strips. Hey, girls. Welcome to the Waxing Show. So, you have your first strips and your cleanup strips. You, your cleanup strips can go any direction that you need them to. Hey, Yuli, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. What's very important is that your first strips are going correctly. And the, the better your first strip is, the less cleanup strips you're going to have to do. Your goal is to make your initial strips the best. I mean, you want to, like, that's going to set you up. Um... Now I do say multiple strips, as many as you need to, whatever, but usually to protect your skin, you want to not do more than three strips overall. There's obviously exceptions. Some people can have more, uh, but try to go for only doing three strips. So try to do in one area, your first strip and then two cleanups. And then as you get good at waxing yourself or waxing whoever you are, whoever you want to, you may be able to uh, get it very clean, get the area clean with your first strip. 
even if you get the area very clean, especially with legs, if you get the area very clean with the first strip, I still recommend in some aspects and some times to do a cleanup strip because there are little hairs that you can't always see with the naked eye that come up when you do a cleanup strip. All right, so you have your first strip and your cleanup strip. So let's talk about the first strip and how to apply the wax. This is very important. Your first strip needs to go the direction of the hair. Your first strip needs to go the direction of the hair. One more time. The first strip, the first strip I'll say needs to be applied in the direction of direction of the hair. So what I mean by that is if your hair is going down or up, oh, this marker is, okay, so I'm going to make little dots here. So say this is hair, hey sassy, and the dots are the roots and this is how the hair lays. Then when you apply your strip, you want your strip to go this way. So you want to start here and go the direction of the hair. Okay, and then you're going to pull, you're going to pull back. So you apply it. Apply strip apply strip this way and then pull it back so you always want to do the opposite it's going to get you the cleanest wax is that you know able to understand so I made the little root so you know that the hair is going in that direction. Now, it is very common that there are areas where your hair doesn't always go in one direction. Underarms is a good example. Uh, there's also where the hair goes into a spiral. I've seen it all, especially with the thighs and underarm. You want to do the majority. So if a lot of the hair is going down on the underarms, then go down. Um, or break the underarms into two. Like a lot of times underarms can have like the top having the hair going up and the middle going sideways and then the hair at the bottom of the underarm going down. So then you will do uh, a strip going down sideways and up only in those areas. Does that make sense? Hey, Mel uh, Melody, welcome to the Three Melody Blessings. Welcome to the Three Boxing Show. So this is what I mean when I tell, when I say that I customize my client's experience when I wax them, is that I go the direction of the hair. This is what I mean by that, is that whatever the direction your hair is, I go that way. And that's what you need to be doing if you are waxing yourself at home. There is sideburn hair that goes up and down you need to make sure the hair that's going down you're applying the wax down and the hair that's going up you need to apply the wax up uh, this will make a difference in uh, how it reacts afterwards breaking of the hairs ingrowns it makes such a huge difference 
Now with curly hair, I am very good at waxing curly hair. I've spent a lot of time doing it, one on myself and all my clients. Um, hey Jess, welcome back to the Waxing Show. You, if you have really tight curly hair, one thing you can do before you lay the wax is kind of spread the hair a little bit so you can see where the hairs are going, like in what type of direction. Because if it's really curly, it almost like stands up, you know? So kind of spread it out to see, okay, this the hair is kind of going in this direction and then apply the wax. Another thing to do that will help you a lot, and this is a lot, I'm speaking towards the Brazilian a lot here, is that if your hair is really curly and you're not sure the direction of the hair growth, do smaller strips. If somebody comes into my salon and they have a bush and it's really curly, I tell them, since it's, you have not been waxed in a long time or it's your first time being waxed, I'm going to take a longer time because it's going to, uh, this wax is going to protect the integrity of your skin um, because I'm going to do it in small sections and really see where you're, take my time and see what direction your hair is growing. Any questions about that? So apply the wax the direction of the hair growth. Even if a section has all over, all types, break it up in sections. Your first strip goes the direction of the, the hair. For those of you who just joined, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. Welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. And so you remember, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. I am Becca, your pro-waxer, skin therapist, and licensed esthetician since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical pills, facials, and products. I have my own product line, which is my exfoliating pads. I have the acne and ingrown pads and the fruit enzyme pads. There's 40 pads in each jar. And they are chemical exfoliants, so they're good for sensitive skin. Uh, they improve ingrowns, bumps, uh, pimples, uh, acne, dark spots, all that good stuff. Well, not good stuff, but you know, all that stuff. They've been sold all over the US, the UK, Canada, and the UAE, and I'm still shipping out there. Uh, they're currently uh, out of stock, but they will be in stock soon. Um, I also help estheticians start their own product line, start their own salon suite, attract clients, and improve their waxing techniques. Uh, I've been the regional trainer for a large waxing franchise, and then the lead esthetician pro waxer at a high-end gym in Newport Beach, California. Join the Wax Lounge to know when I go live on Fridays about waxing, if you like this information. You can also click the link in the bio of my Instagram bio, and the first button is a free checklist I made for those of you who are working on waxing yourselves at home. You can grab that checklist. It tells you everything you need. And then uh, you can book a call with me on Tuesdays uh, to help you wax at home. On Tuesdays, I go live about products and ingredients. I highlight a product and I highlight an ingredient to help you learn about ingredients that are beneficial to your skin. On Wednesdays, I do esthetician education where I talk about uh, things I've been through with running a business and being an esthetician. And those are the ways to stay connected with me. I do one-on-one -on -one skin consultation calls and then pick my brain calls for estheticians. So, thank you for joining. Hey, uh, welcome to the Deep Waxing Show, Charles Dave. Welcome to the Deep Waxing Show, sweet, great. Oh, I think it's too great. All right. So, screenshot it, then flip it so it makes sense on your screen. Now, let's talk about um, your cleanup strips. These are very important. Your cleanup strips are gonna go, so they can go the direction of the hair growth, but you are also gonna wanna go the opposite direction because there can be little hairs that are going the other way. And then if you go the opposite direction, it helps get any stubborn hairs. Hey, Dina, welcome to the Baby Waxing Show. So, clean up strip. Some things to know about it is that um, they can go in any direction. Mm -hmm. 
they uh, usually the first cleanup strip goes the opposite direction. And it just gives you a cleaner, cleaner wax. And it exfoliates. I'll put that in there. All right. So say we have hair growing this way. We're gonna put our, start where the roots are, apply our wax, then we're gonna pull it in the opposite direction. Then we had hair come off. We wanna do a cleanup strip. Even if we don't see hair there, we still wanna do a cleanup strip, unless the skin is super red. Uh, it's very rare that somebody's that sensitive with hard wax, but it does happen. So then you wanna start your strip out here for your cleanup strip and go in and then pull the opposite direction. So here's the notes on the cleanup strip. They can go in any direction. Usually the first cleanup strip goes the opposite direction. Um, these cleanup strips are gonna give you a cleaner wax and it's gonna continue to exfoliate your skin. If you wanna screenshot that and then flip it, So on the 3 waxing show, I try to give visuals. I don't try. We have visuals on the 3 waxing show. Get that out of my vocabulary. Now, I don't want this to be too hot. Okay, so let's say that I have hair. I wonder if I have. Um... It'll be too, I don't want to try to do it that way. Okay, but let's say I have hair growing down here, okay? Say I just have hair just going down towards my nails, right? I don't really have hairy hands, but there's people who do. It's not uncommon. So if I have hair going down this way, I'm gonna have my first strip start here and go down because I want to go the direction of the hair growth. All right. Then I'm going to take that end and go the opposite direction and it'll remove a lot of the hair. Then I'll do a cleanup since I did the, since the hair was going this way originally. I'm going to start here for my cleanup. Thank you for the hearts. And remember, there's barely any hair left because I just did a strip. And so I'm going the opposite direction. And you don't wanna ever, and this is the second strip, right? Cause if I did the first strip like this, it'd be really painful. And I would break hairs and it just wouldn't be a good thing. So then I applied the strip from here up. So then I'm gonna come up here and pull. And one tip that I wanna give you guys that if, when you are waxing at home, is I know it's difficult, especially when you're doing the Brazilian, but you will notice the difference is that you want to get close to the skin when you pull it. So you want it to be parallel. Instead of like this, pulling out, I don't know if you guys can see, instead of pulling out like this, you want to pull close to the, oops, this fell apart a little bit. But you guys get the, what I'm trying to say, you want to pull close to the, to the skin that's going to cause less breakage when you're waxing yourself. Okay. Any questions? 
about that. Clean up strips are great for legs because you can do a regular strip, you know, going down and then pull up and be like, oh my gosh, it's clean. But it still feels like it's not clean. A clean up strip will uh, make it just, oh, beautiful. This is the reason why I went into this industry. I just love waxing, y'all. Like, I for real love this. Hey, boo, spooks, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. So, questions about waxing. Open it up. The uh, the floor is open for Q and A. Uh, if you just joined, I'm Becca. I'm a pro waxer and skin therapist and esthetician, licensed esthetician since 2010. I help people remove unwanted hair, acne, discoloration, ingrowns through full body waxing, chemical peels, facials, and products. I have my own product line that's been sold all over the U.S., the U.K., Canada, and the U.A.E. I also I haven't been saying this, but I do uh, drop ship skin script and uh pca skin i got to do that today do some orders so i do that as well and i help estheticians uh start their own product lines start their own salon suite attract clients and improve their waxing technique and yeah i come on here on fridays to talk about waxing let's so come join the fun she said i love hard wax so clean yes what hard wax is the best this is the one i'm using by the way today it is so clean and it's true it makes the skin clean as far as the hair it does such a good job and it's good for cleaning up if you see like this is all i use today it's all in a little mess it's a lot easier than you know having strips and being sticky and like my hand is smooth there's no stickiness to it yes so that is what I got. If you found this information useful, you can grab the checklist that I have where I break down all the things you need. Um, in the checklist, it has the things you need to wax yourself at home. And then, and it gives you why you need them. I broke that down. And then in the email that I send, I send you the link to a wax pot on Amazon and then a link to the wax that I use today. So you can grab those. Hey Mel, welcome to the Thibu Waxing Show. Uh, if you really enjoyed this and you want me to help you with waxing at home and do a video call, you can book an appointment, click the link in the bio, book an appointment, and it's called Skin Improvement Call. That is where you can um, book and then I'll help you wax yourself and you'll be smooth. Okay, let me go back. Um, you said, is Serapil in any store fronts like uh, Cosmoprof? I'm stuck between that or Star Pill. Uh, yeah, Syrup Pill is in Cosmoprof. Mm -hmm. It's in Cosmoprof. So incredibly helpful. You are welcome. Okay, awesome. I'll check those links out. Yes, you are welcome. Uh, intelli uh, intellectual, welcome to the Thibu Oxygen Show. Yeah, check those links out uh, so you can start your... Getting smooth, start your journey of getting smooth at home. I really do love waxing. It's, I built my whole career off of it. So that's what I got for you guys. You guys are welcome. Have a great rest of your day. I will leave this replay up and um, I will see you on Tuesday if you're interested in products and ingredients. And then uh, if anyone books, no, you can't book because I'm booked for this Tuesday. But if you want to book for next week, I'll see you next week as well. Or the week after. Hey, uh, Kira, welcome to the 3B Waxing Show. So you guys take care of yourself. Uh, stay blessed.